So in this video, I'm going to show you how to frame a uh, autograph, a baseball jersey uh, with a couple of 8x10 photos and uh, engraved plate here. Okay, so uh, the frame we're going to be using is uh, from SF Display. It's I, uh, product ID 6306. Uh, this one we're using is black. Okay, they come in four colors: oak, walnut, cherry, and black. So we're gonna turn these to this. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is just uh, peel off the protective film and get the frame cleaned up and ready. Now that I have the uh, cover removed, so we have the backing. It's a pinnable back. Uh, with a frame, you get to choose different colors. So in this case, we have the uh, black felt background because you can customize everything. So uh, with a uh, lighter jersey, you want a darker background and vice versa. Okay, so I'm going to lay out the jersey just to have an idea how we're going to be doing this. So uh, in this case, it's a baseball jersey and we decided to do it horizontally. So when we order this, we already have the mat cut out, you know, to the house. I'll uh, choosing. So we have the black top with the um, giant's uh, orange and uh, trim here. We have a couple cutouts for the 8x10 photos, and we're gonna we decided we're gonna put it facing this way, and then this photo on this side, and then here's the engraving plate, so it still has that protective cover. Let me just take this off here. So that's gonna mount in here later on. Now that we have an idea how we want to lay out the jersey and the position of it, so as I said, we're going to have it come down a little bit, so I'm going to be like that. This way we'll have some uh, spacing from the, uh, the matting to that and give it a nicer look that way. Uh, the sleeve's going to end up being like this, laid out like that, so you see, so he's got the nice uh, giant uh, Right here and then this other patch here. The autograph is right here so there's no issue with that being covered up so that's going to show fairly well that the pictures are going to be down here okay. With this piece of math, additional piece of math board we're going to create an insert that's going to be slightly larger than the uh, jersey itself so that's going to give it the shape and it's also going to help us secure it down. So the first thing is we're going to have to make some measurements and cut out that um, insert and what we want to do is take the top measurement from the jersey all the way down to the edge of this uh, background and you want to trim it a little bit maybe about an inch or so so in this case what I see is 24 inches as being the height we're going to be using and then you want to take on uh, the width measurement of this jersey okay so what I see here is about 24 and a half but we're going to stretch it out a little bit so uh, I'm going to test stretch it and see. So I think uh, 25 will be okay for in this case because this jersey is, uh, uh, you know, not super stretchable. So 25, so the height 24, the width 25. So we're going to cut basically the board, the rough board, just the outside measurements. Okay, so I'm back with that cut out and I have it laid underneath the, the jersey so we can take that measurement of the... Uh, the shoulder slope here. So the first thing we want to do is uh, uh, get the center mark here. So in this case we said 25 Y so it's going to be uh, 12 and a half is our center. So you want to position so make sure it's important to reference everything and try to center it as best as you can. I have the jer jersey collar here center. That's a center mark so it's four inches from each side. So this is going to be my center, right? I mean, this is the mark of that tip of that collar. And from there, as you can see, I'm just going to continue with the slope of that jersey. You can see it like this. So it's going to come out to about right here. So it's easy to just, you know, um, draw this out now. And that gives me this slope here. So that's going to create a nice fit. All right, and with this slightly stretch, uh, this is going to be the tip of where that uh, shoulder is. So this is going to be about right there. I'm just going to roughly reference it. So we have the uh, cutout of one side. I'm going to use a pair of scissors. That's pretty much it. And I can use this side 
to come over this and then uh, give me the same identical measurement. So. The other thing you want to do is reference how far the color is going to cover up here. So, because we're going to have to take out some of this. So, I'm just going to reference that. And I'm going to use a pair of scissors for this also. Okay. All right. So, we're going to test fit this. Okay, so we're going to, once again, center everything. And this is nicely stretched out. So as you know, I have this extra piece that came from the original larger board. And this is, was the leftover. So we're going to use this to make that cutout for each of these sleeves. We just need to take uh, three measurements. We can take a height from the tip of the sleeve down to almost the edge so in this case I'm just going to have it around that 8 inches here and you want to take the width and you want to do a slightly bigger to give it a stretch out look so this case is 8 I'm going to do 8 and a half so it's going to be 8 and a half wide 8 tall and the other measurement you need to take is um, how high this goes up because of the the sleeve heads so uh, since I'm 8 so it's going to be three and a half. So I'm going to make those cutouts. Okay, I am back with the two um, sleeve uh, inserts here. So basically they're identical. I made one and then I used the other one as a template and just kind of traced it and cut it out. And if you notice, I want to point out, so the very tip isn't like very sh pointy. So as you can see, so that gives it a nice rounded uh, corner instead of a sharp corner and so you can see I'm going to test fit this just to kind of make sure it's okay as you can see that fits really well um, to do the next step which is to pin it down but before we do that we want to make sure everything is as center as you can get it okay take measurements from the edge of the background to the jersey to center it make sure the bottom is the same so you can center on both sides. I want to take one more reference from this top to the uh, edge here. Okay so that now that we have everything perfectly centered let's secure it down uh, just to uh, we're gonna use uh, you know a few pins just to secure it down and keep it there. Uh, now these are just straight pins that will come with the kit and you can use a thimble um, you know for your finger to push them in or in my case I you know done this quite a few times I'm just going to use this uh, back of my um, uh, uh, knife here on the edge here so now when you pin these down you want the thickness of this background is you know not terribly uh, a lot of thickness to there it's about um, uh, 3 eighths of an inch if I'm not mistaken around there so you're going to have to go at a pretty extreme angle. It's almost like, you know, you just slide it in flat there. But it's probably around that uh, 5, 10 degree, between that 5 to 10 degree. So as you can see, I pushed it in f fairly easily. So uh, that's one there in the center. Now I'm going to want to get one in the corner here. Now when you pin it, you just pin in the board. So see, as you can see, the board will keep the jersey in place and the board is thick enough and strong enough to kind of, you know, uh, hold the pin in, in that position. So you just need to lift the jersey enough to give you access to a pin in it. So you see how easily they go in because I'm not poking the uh, the actual board of that background, but instead just pin it to the rubber material. So I got three there. Uh, that's enough to keep it there for now. Uh, so I'm going to go along and pin the rest. So now. These uh, sleeve cutout, we want to take them back out because uh, we're going to secure the back of it first. So you need to take it out too. So you want to pin as close to the corner as you can because then that keeps it there. Use probably three pins just like the, the collar there. And it's a good idea when you pin to kind of use the pin in different direction. Same on this side.
So now that you have that in place, I'm just going to do the rest of the jersey first and then I'm going to come back and do the uh, sleeve. The bottom is going to be covered by the mat. The mat's about two inches. So. Okay, I'm going to use four just to kind of even it out. We're going to secure the side here. So I'm going to use this two. I think that's good for this jersey. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just two. Finishes up by uh, uh, fixing the sleeve here and securing it down. We want to make sure the sleeves are going to be in the center position uh, relative to each other also. Okay, so this should be very centered. So I'm going to use a pin and just secure this in place. Okay, you have a little bit more thickness here so you can slightly adjust that angle. Same thing, I'm just going to use three pins. We're going to continue this side and do the same thing. You have everything secure now so the jersey is on this board and I'm going to you know, put something over and just kind of iron it out to, uh, you know, uh, make sure it's on a sensitive setting that's equivalent to the material, okay? So the next thing we want to do is test fit with that double mat that came with it. You can see you want to reference these, make sure they're good, uh, the top in here. If you didn't spend that time to make sure everything's centered, then you, this is where you will see and notice the issues uh, with this uh, mat flipped over. We're going to start doing the photos. Okay, so we already decided to put this one on this side, the other one on this side. What you want to do is um, secure one of them at a time and kind of take reference of where things are in the photo and make sure, you know, show the important things so they're not covered up. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, this uh, art uh, masking tape. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over, take a peek, make sure they're kind of in the spots I want. You notice I have two pieces of these mat boards here. They're basically, um, since the photo is, uh, you know, 8x10, they're just a little larger than 8x10. So in this case, it's 11 by 9 You want to tape this down. And that will, you know, keep the photo from kind of wrinkling it up and it'll be nice and flat background, okay? So, just position this over and, uh, you know, uh, tape this down. That's all you have to do. Okay, so we'll flip it over and take a quick peek. So that looks great. Since we have the engraved plate, as you can see, the cutouts right there, so... Uh, we're going to center this and secure it down with just some uh, tape again. As you can see, this jersey, uh, you know, it has a bit of thickness now. So, uh, with the photo here, this is uh, flat here, okay, but the top here, so now there's going to be some spacing. I mean, you can leave it as just that and put it in there. But, you know, we like to add a little spacer to even out the height of the mat from the bottom to the top. So what I'm going to do is flip this over. And we're going to use some polyurethane, which we, I have some cut out here. It's 5 millimeter thick for this, uh, you know, the thickness, uh, as long as you get it close to, you know, what you need there. Uh, these will come in a lot of packaging material. You can, you know, use them or you can get some... Uh, from um, you know craft stores or something similar that's just we're just going to use this and cut it out and glue it to it so that will give the height I attach these with a hot glue gun so you just need a dab of on the corners and a couple in the middle and that will secure it in place and that's all you need I mean you could use regular glue but it takes a little longer to dry so I'm going to use hot glue gun okay all right, so let's see the difference. Uh, you know, it makes it a little more even here, so the the height is the same. So, so we're pretty much um, you know ready to finish up here. So the the next thing you want to do is do a 
you know, uh, good cleaning. Uh, the next thing what we want to do is uh, bring back the cover. Uh, you should have the cover completely clean inside and out. There's a top, so this one, you know, the top has the little uh, hanging hooks. So you want to make sure you put the hanging hooks. Of course, uh, the you know the top side of the jersey. So when you go hang it, it's right there in place for you. That's pretty much all you got to do. So make sure the back back ends goes in place. Go with a screwdriver. Go around and secure each of these uh, screws just to tighten them. So they don't move around anymore. Now that they're tight, I'm going to go back with that same tape and going to secure this to uh, the edges down here. Now that we have it flipped over, so you can uh, see uh, our completed product here. It has the 8x10 photos, uh, the engraved plate here in the middle. Uh, as you can see, this is the autograph of you know, Barry Bonds that we were doing here. Yeah, this is uh, the final product, so it looks great.